Good morning, everyone. Good morning. 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 Good
I did get it buttoned, but uh, doctor, could we hand out safety glasses to the front row just in case? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is uh, truly a pleasure to be here with all of uh, my fellow veterans. Uh, it's a special day. It always is every year. It's a day where we honor those who, who have served. And as you know, I think one of the most oft-repeated phrases in society right now is, thank you for your service. Thank you for your service. And uh, I, uh, I can't tell you the number of times that I've heard that, uh, and it's been a long way since I was a, long, a young Lieutenant JG on the USS Columbia. <laughs> Not that long. Uh, on the USS Columbus, guided missile cruiser, CG-12. <clears throat> so that's been a little bit of time. But Veterans Day is special uh, because of all of you. Our flag flies because you were there. No matter where you were, what part of, what, what part of the world, what theater, our flag flies because you were there. Our children and grandchildren have the future they have because you were there, because you were there. The continent of Europe enjoyed democracy. Why? Because you were there. Whether it was Europe, whether it was the South Pacific, whether it was no matter where it was, the, the effects and, and the residuals that come to our society, our freedom, is because you were there. And that's why I thank you for your service is so important because for those of us in the room who are of an age, and as I look around, that includes the vast majority of this room, but the Vietnam War will always be the defining issue of our lives. And yes, that was a war that went on. There were 55,000 American lives lost, and it was an unpopular war. And those who served in it or served in that time and I was a veteran of the Vietnam era, but I make very sure to say it that way, I was not a Vietnam veteran. That distinction, that honor only goes to those who were in country. <clears throat> but that was the time when our veterans came home to what wasn't a grateful nation, to what was consternation, which was rioting, which was everything. It's so important. Remember that, and never let that happen again. The buzzword is thank you for your service and welcome home. For your bravery, for your courage, welcome home. Thank you for your service. For your patriotism, for your sacrifice, thank you for your service. For showing the entire world that whenever America finds trouble anywhere around the globe, we still send our best and our brightest Thank you for your service. Thank you for your service. Welcome home. This is what we want to transcend the ages now. We've learned our lesson and we're not going back. My fellow veterans, thank you for your service. Welcome home. We are your grateful nation. I stand relieved. Thank you, Mr. Corden. Uh, always inspiring words, always. And thank you for your service, Mr. Corden, as well. Um, throughout, the, throughout the program, I'll, I'll make some introductions right now. Mr. Todd, can lead us in the next song, which is uh, Behold, How Good.
the soldiers home. So happy to say we have B&B back today, leading us off, batting second. Uh, no stranger holy Holyoke, representative Aaron Vega. Thanks, Aaron. Thank you so much. back to follow up here. I'm so yeah. proud of the medical choir and everything Mark Todd does in our high school. Thank you to all of you. Hope you have a great school year, and thank you, and good luck. Honored to be here once again at the Soldiers Home. As was mentioned, it's, it's Veterans Day almost every day here at the Soldiers Home. And it's an honor to be up here uh, with my colleagues, John Vilas, who not only is a representative for Westfield, but also a captain in the uh, Army Reserves. And the great leader out of Chicopee, Representative Joe Wagner, up here with us today. And our new guy, Representative Dan Carey. All of us here in Western Mass care about our veterans, care about their soldiers' home, continue every day to make sure that veterans continue to get priority at the state level. So I want to echo the thanks for your service and welcome home. Thank you. You're all welcome. Thank you. But I want to expand that a little bit because I want to thank not all, just all of you in this room, but my grandfather, my uncle, and my cousin who served, who made it possible for me to give back to my community as an elected official. And when I think about the veterans, and I think about the lesson that we need to remember is that all of you in this room and these young men that are preparing to serve found something beyond themselves that was more important. Found something that they needed to give back to despite or in view of their neighbors, and their community, that they were going to give back and serve for people they didn't even know, for future generations. That they held on to something, that all of you held on to something that was bigger and more important than just you, and it was more important than just your neighbors and your community. And I think that's a lesson that we need to continue to remember to give back or to pay it forward, as we say now, to find something beyond ourselves that's more important, to serve, be it in the military, be it through public life, to give back. And I think that's a lesson, unfortunately, we forget and we have to be reminded. And something like Veterans Day allows us that time to remember to find that thing that's more important than just ourselves, that your service made it possible for your family to live free, made it possible for your neighbors, and the people you didn't even know to live in this country and live free, and for future generations, and for those of us up here that you don't know, to do what we do. So again, I echo the thanks. I also want to thank all the staff, the superintendent, the trustees of the Soldier's Home. This is such a gem here in Western Mass, and a gem here for all the Commonwealth. So thank you to all the staff, all the volunteers, all that you do every day, all of us here, We'll find that thing that's bigger than ourselves, more important than our day to day to get back to our community, to pay it forward for our community, to pay it forward for the people we don't even know, to make sure that they too have the opportunities that we have. So again, thank you and happy Veterans Day. Thank you, Mr. Thank you so much. You're such a huge supporter. Mr. Todd, if you can lead us in the next election, call Mr. Prayers of the shoulder.
next speaker, again, happy that he's able to be back here as last year he missed due to active duty deployment to Afghanistan. The other part of our BNB, Representative John Villas. Good morning, everybody. What an honor to be here. And I just also want to begin by saying and recognizing my colleagues, Rep. Vega and Michelle from Senator Hummison's office, and of course, Leader Wagner and Rep. Kerry. You know, many of you may not know this, but we pride ourselves in the Commonwealth of Massachusetts where we are by far, and I'm stressing that, by far the state that does the most for our veterans here in the Commonwealth. And that's something that we are particularly proud of. And it's anytime there's a vote in Boston, you know it's gonna be the unanimous thing when it involves veterans. So a big thank you to my colleagues for that process as well. So what, what, is, what is a veteran? You know, we've been, and I talk about this a lot too, what is a veteran? There's obviously the technical legal definition of what a veteran is, but on the most fundamental level, we always go back to that saying that talks about a veteran being that person, a man or a woman, who at some point in their lives wrote out that check, a blank check, for an amount of up to and including their lives. Think about that. They wrote that check when they signed up. I don't care whether they signed up or they were drafted. They were willing to put it all on the line for their country, for their service, for something bigger than their self. Every time this year comes around Veterans Day, any, any day, and it should be every day that we honor our service members and certainly our fallen. You know, I often think about what we do on that day. We honor our veterans. And I think what's also just as critical is for our veterans to honor each other. Because one of the things that many people might not know with respect to veterans is that when you're overseas, whether it's World War II, whether it's Vietnam, whether it's Korea, whether it's Iraq, whether it's Afghanistan, wherever you may be, whatever your conflict is, you know, when those bullets start flying and those roadside bombs, those IEDs start going off, at the end of the day, you know, we serve, everybody signs up for their different reasons, for that flag, maybe to get a better life, for whatever reason you signed up in your country, but at the end of the day, when you know what hits the fan, you're serving for that person right next to you, who's fighting next door, next, next to you. So veterans, remember to honor your fellow veterans out there. Why is that important now more than ever? In my opinion, because right now, less than one half of 1%, Less than one half of 1% of our country is serving in the military. And I often, I often tell this story, and I told it the other day at the Holyoke Mall when we had an event, where from this last time, last December, I was getting ready to come home from Afghanistan. And not far from where I was, there was this horrific, horrific attack. Americans, as well as a lot of Afghans, and a lot of Afghan security forces died in that attack. And I remember that night, I remember calling home, and I forget who I talked to, whether it was my mom or my dad. But I, essentially, they answered the phone, and I said, I'm okay. And they said to me, you know, John, we, okay, it's great you're okay, but I have no idea what you're talking about. So here was this attack that went on that was so awful, more than 100 people killed, and nobody knew what was going on back home. So I bring that to your attention to really make the point that we've got service members as we speak today in places like Iraq, Afghanistan, Africa, Jordan, doing things in a very dangerous way, and bad things happen and bad things happen, and it's my humble opinion that we here in the rear, back in America, don't spend enough time honoring those who step forward and say, I'll do what the other 99.9, .9, for whatever reason, aren't going to do right now. Two months ago, we lost the Green Beret from Chicopee. We honored him, we paid him that sacrifice, but that fight still goes on. So today, but more importantly, tomorrow, and every day between Veterans Day and Memorial Day, every single one of us needs to remember and honor those who are making it possible so we can go about our daily lives. 
and I will frequently say this when I'm speaking to veterans group, you know, we're all going to leave the soldiers home today, and we're all going to go our separate ways. I'll go back to Westfield, Leader Wagner, Chickabee, East Hampton, etc. We're all going to do things that a lot of us, myself to Westfield, a lot of us take for granted. Easy stuff, Dunkin' Donuts, go shopping, whatever. But I think what's absolutely most critical for all of us to remember when we go about our daily routine and lives is that all of the little things, those little mundane things that we take for granted are possible, are only possible because of that blood, sweat, and tears of our veterans. The blood, sweat, and tears of our veterans, whatever conflict it is. I look out in this crowd here today and I see a bunch of veterans. I see a bunch of family members. But what I really see is I see everything that's great about our country. Everything that's great about our country you can find within the walls of the Holy Oak Soldiers Home. If you're having a bad day, come here. Because you'll go from saying, oh, I'm having a bad day to saying thank you and putting a smile on your face real, real fast. So from the bottom of my heart, on behalf of myself and the Massachusetts House of Representatives, thank you for stepping forward. Thank you for doing what is such a challenging thing. Thank you for being here today. And then, I think that we speak for the entire home. We're just so uh, happy that you made it home safely. We hope for the best for all of our veterans like that and all coming home. And these words are inspiring. We have um, one more song from Mr. Todd. Uh, and well, a couple more songs. The next song is, is Old Love. And while he's getting ready, uh, I would like to acknowledge in the house we have our, our board of trustees, Mr. Uh, Mr. Corbin spoke first. We also have Cindy Lacoste over here, as well to my left. Uh, yeah, all right, Cindy. Fellow veteran. And also uh, Cesar Lopez, a fellow Marine. I got to give a shout out uh, to, to my fellow Marines out there. Sorry, to not being on but yeah, I got to give a shout out to the, to the Marines. So uh, after this, which is nice, we're going to have our service medley with, uh, with Sarah the Fiddler. Uh, and then God bless America. So I just want to also acknowledge, too, we mentioned uh, Representative Wagner. Uh, Representative Kerry as well, but also in the house we have Michelle Moriarty representing uh, Senator Hummus and no stranger to the soldiers' home. Her husband, did he make it? The, the police captain, is he here? Uh, did he make it? See it? And also Senator Welsh is uh, assistant here as well. Oh, I just want to say we've got the Senate in the house and the, the House of Representatives here. For you all, gentlemen and ladies, for you, it's because of you they're here. And I just, on behalf of the entire soldiers' home and the board of trustees, thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for being here during your time because we wouldn't exist without your unbelievable support of the Solar Soul. I'll turn it over to Mr. Todd now.
black beans are just the best. What we're gonna do now, everyone, is we're gonna sort of smell you for a real treat, kitchen in the treats. Sort of smell these also, but scared it on the fiddle from Sarah the Fiddler, so there's home own. So we encourage you, when your service comes up, I'll, I'll say the name, feel free to stand or give a big wave and family members as well when your, when your service branch is, uh, is fiddled. Go ahead, Sarah. the 
prairies, to the oceans, white with foam. God bless America, my home sweet home. From the mountains, to the prairies, to the oceans, white with foam. America, my home sweet home.